Hello, this is Anti Darwin, and uh, once again I am bringing you another uh, uh, replay, Red Alert 3 replay. Today, surprise, surprise, I have a new guest with me, and uh, he hasn't been heard by many, and this is his first time coming uh, as my guest, and I welcome to you, Psycho Turtle. How are you, Psycho Turtle? Hello, Anta Darwin. I'm doing great. Thanks for the question. How about yourself? I'm fine, Turtle. Turtle, tell me, how are you? And uh, can you maybe tell something about yourself? Well, not much to say. I'm 17 years old. Um, I was born in New York City. I live in Croatia. And um, I don't know. I've, I've been playing regularly for four years. It's pretty much my favorite game. No offense, Turtle, but you sound like uh, maybe... Uh, a 30 year old guy or maybe English professor or something. <laughs> no, nah, I was just raised in New York City, American accent and stuff like that, but I'm 17 years old, even though I don't sound like it. Okay, tell me Turtle about this Wahabo. Wahabo is a very unorthodox player and most Empire players, no matter who it is, he has given a lot of tension to them with his strange tactics, like I remember he making uh, just two power plants, War Factory build, and then he MCV pushes, and somehow that MCV push works. He really uses MCV pushes uh, freakishly and uh, very differently without the super reactor, and mixes it, uh, it up with terror drones. And he's got a very uh, unique play style. He's one of those players you can't, cannot predict. Uh, how he will play just like C9, Q9. He he has different sort of build orders and uh, um, he he has won some later wars. Even uh, he has beaten players a, a lot of times like Eminence and Jules. Tell me about this uh, Bahabo guy, Turtle. Well, he has something in his... Uh, not only he's, he's kind of creative. He's a very creative player and um, not a lot of players are like him. And uh, he's a very good Soviet player, especially against Empire. You just beats them all the time and Empire players don't know how to deal with him and he's a very good player. I like watching him play and playing against him myself. Turtle, a lot of experts are saying that uh, this Cabana Republic and Temple Prime map, these are uh, like you can't uh, give uh, extra points to anybody. It's like 50-50 to both Soviet and uh, Empire players. Both are equal. And the reason of that equality fa faction is the versatility of this com combination which Soviet players have. That is the twin frog formula. What do you have to say about that? I think that um, Soviets have an easier time expanding on this map. And um, since there's a lot of garrisons that they can take map control early in the game of conscripts, so it's easier for them to take control of the map and know what's going on and harassing altogether. But, um, since it's a big map, Empire is good over here too, and they can expand themselves and develop their own game style, harass a lot and stuff. So it's a pretty equal Soviet against Empire map, though. Soviets are a little more favored. Only a little more favored on this map. And um, Temple Prime? Well, that's more of an Empire map than Soviets, because um, I think that when the Soviet player expands, that the Empire player can reach them a lot with their powerful infantry. and. In the early game, they make more dojos and just take over the garrisons at the refiners and they make a lot of problems for the Soviet players over there. And they can also make a docks and harass the sea refiners with the Yari subs and then it gets very difficult for Soviet players on that map. But if the Soviet player decides for the MCV plus terror drone push, then the Empire player can be in a lot of trouble themselves. Okay, Turtle, press escape. Now we have on uh, on east side Psycho Turtle as orange and uh, on west side Wahabo as green Soviets. Well yeah we see that I'm going with the three dojo start and Wahabo is going with the standard barracks and power plant. Pretty much normal stuff. We're both going to go for infantry in the middle. And we see Wahabo starting with a couple of flag troopers to protect his refinery spots from early game Tango harassment. Yes, and Wahabo is uh, playing as standard as possible. And uh, this is a this is a very strange thing when when a cheeser he he plays standard. 
people expect something like uh, he's gonna cheese or something and he uh, like if you are emperor you're gonna send a burst drone just like you have done turtle so uh, uh, you get surprised how is he playing standard all of a moment all of a sudden well I noticed that he started standardly but I don't really trust him and I mean in that way to go standard I knew that he was gonna do something strange so I just waited for it to happen I just yes, I played standard Yes, the reputation really is uh, Wahabo's reputation is such that people will always send a pulse drone to his base. He's not an eminence who, who plays like st standard all games. He'll always do something to like uh, make you think at start and make you. Uh, now you have captured his uh, one of the oil derricks, Psycho Turtle. Um, yeah, I'm going for the other oil and I want to say. Um, Whenever you play against Wahabu, you have to go for a burst drone because if you don't, then you might just get in big trouble without even knowing it. Because it's really unexpected what he can throw at you. Turtle, what's going on? You have went for a for a tier three structure all of a sudden, so early in the game. This uh, is yeah, I did because um, like 15 minutes before this match occurred, um, he defeated me on the same map, and I. I really had no idea what to do against him, so this time I just went tier three and to see what if I can defeat him like that, catch him off guard. Yes, but, but he uh, reacted. He reacted brilliantly. He started sending conspirators to my base, and then I got him big trouble over here. Very big trouble. Yes, he's he's a uh, turtle. He has he has cramped your MCV. Uh, yep, I'm completely locked down, and I really had no solution for this. As you can see, my mecha, my mecha bay is getting severely damaged and my MCV cannot move. And it looks like that. I have nothing possible to do here. I got a, a tsunami thing, but he's freezing it, doing some nice micro, destroying my unit. And he's micro, microing his stasis ray both to your tsunami as well as your MCV. This is like almost over this game, Turtle. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was in huge trouble, like I said, and um, I don't know, nah, and he I has, really have no idea what to do. He has, like, uh, uh, drawn your MCV now, what's going on? This match is over all of a sudden, <laughs> and and you have uh, <laughs> well, sold your uh, na nano frame. What's, this is, this game is over, why, why, why are you giving me this replay for uh, for doing a ward if this is such a small game, Turtle? I just wanted to say one thing. Uh, nothing's ever as it seems. Um, despite all the odds, you never know what happens. And I love this game. That's why I love it, because you never know what's going to happen. And you'll see what happens afterwards. You'll be very surprised and pleased. And the collector, it's, uh, it's trying to uh, kill those conscripts. Wahabo, on the other yeah, hand, is, uh, has a has made an airfield and is in C and what's going on turtle you have a you have a Eureka Meg all of a sudden in the in in the field uh, yeah. Hey, well yeah my dojo is my only production structure left and I had to start making something out of it I managed to upgrade it in time before I sold my nanotech mainframe now I have tier 2, two tier 3, 2 refiners and 2 oils so I'm pretty good actually if I could play it right and uh, he's, trying to and he's, uh, he's coming yeah. after your uh, your collectors with twin blades and he's he's got a lot of economy but uh, you are I don't know what's happening over here I'm really bamboozled at the moment turtle <laughs> yeah yeah but here my Eureka is in his base right now trying to do some damage but then I Reacted poorly over here to see the bears attacking my Eureka. On that little. She got damaged a little, but she survived. Well, the terror drones are, yes, they are very dangerous versus uh, Eureka, and uh, uh, and uh, Wahabo has used those terror drones pretty well and killed your Eureka. So at the moment, Wahabo is the favorite to win this game. Well, yeah, look like that. I have no chances of win again. I lost my Eureka, my Rocket Angels are being seriously damaged over here. And I don't know. I don't know how I got out of the mess. I don't know if I did get out of the mess. <laughs>
entered and Wahabo is on, yeah, uh, on is on, has placed another airfield all of a sudden but you have brought your oh, yeah, since, since I only have a dojo so it's pretty much uh, the main thing for him to do is to spam twin blades and try to destroy as soon as possible Now I got my rocket angels in his base, trying to damage his flag cannon. But the flag cannon has pretty good armor, so it's gonna take some time. As you can see, I rebuilt my Eureka, so I'm gonna try to do something with her again. And finally, Wahabu has killed that uh Rocketeer somehow with using his MiG fighter. Well, yeah, MiG MiGs are pretty good uh, against rocket angels. He doesn't have enough firepower to kill your Yuriko Omega turtle. Yeah, he has absolutely nothing to destroy. It. Why is he floating so much money? It's uh, or maybe you are giving him some sort of tension, perhaps. Well, I don't know why he's why he's on that much money, but now he's trying to make some twin blades and to gather them so he can destroy my Eureka somehow. But my Eureka su successfully destroys the airfield and the other buildings around, like the refinery and some of the neighborhood. And he has made a barracks now, uh, somehow, in the end. And uh, and this at the moment, this game is even Stevens, because uh, Wahabo has uh, has only one barracks, and he can spam terror drones from his collectors if he wants. Well, yeah, I don't think he thought of that yet to make a lot of collectors and then just get terror drones out of them, but. He started spamming beers to try and get rid of my Eureka because it's the best way to go. Yes, but... Uh, I destroyed it last night. See, my rocket angel is going for the barracks. But the rocket angel gets destroyed in the process because there's a flag troop over there waiting. So I, and I rebuilt my collectors. I lost them, but I had to oil, so I managed to rebuild my collectors. And now... I'm pretty much sitting in this garrison my Eureka waiting for some reinforcements. And the bears ride. are making strange sounds, Turtle. It's making me laugh, <laughs> to be honest. When they die, they make strange sounds. <laughs> yeah, they do, they do. <laughs> but this infantry can't even approach my garrison because the mighty Eureka is in there, so pretty much cleans up anything that comes inside. But somehow, he has cornered you and he has more ec eco economical advantage than you turtle also with a lot of bears what I don't understand is why isn't Wahapo making ore collectors well I don't know what he was thinking in that moment I don't know why he didn't start making collectors as soon as possible but I don't know really My Eureka is trying to find the garrison as soon as possible before the bears can reach. By this, a nice micro, so I managed the garrison the building again. In, in the process, I'm spamming Imperial Warriors to try to deal with these mass bears. But he just has too many bears. And somehow he's going to... He's, he's coming with a flank trooper running towards your barracks. In mine mode, yes, the miner is coming for you, turtle. Yes, he's gonna try to destroy my tier three dojo because that's pretty much the only good offensive structure I have to to attack him with. So if that goes down, he's probably gonna calculate that I'm already destroyed, that the game will be over one, as soon as he destroys his dojo. But you have countered with a rocket angel secondary ability, turtle. Well, yeah, I really had no idea what to produce from my dojo at the moment. Then I remember that the rocket angel can freeze infantry too, so I made one and froze the flag trooper in time. Then I made another one to destroy the flag trooper. And he's got so many bears. 
what I don't understand is why isn't Bahapo spamming collectors? The terror drones are more dangerous than bears in this situation versus Yuriko Mecha. Well, not everyone remembers to do something creative like that, even not Wahabo, which is one of the most creative players in the game, but... The, I mean, he has a lot of bears, so I don't know if he really needed Terra Drones at the moment, even though Terra Drones are much better, and maybe they would, do, they would end the game already. And you have destroyed his barracks, so basically this, uh, this game is... Uh, somehow you, he's also coming after your barracks with mines yep and I lost it because he had way too many flag troopers and I just couldn't stop with only one rocket angel so the only thing I had left is a few rocket angels and a Eureka and then one collector over there trying to defend my Eureka but now more flag troopers are coming to reinforce Somehow you were careless with your rocket angel turtle. Yeah, I had no idea what I was thinking at that moment. I just, I don't know, I just lost my rocket angel for no reason. Only and at the left. moment, t turtle Wahapo has decided to spam collectors so late in the game. Well, yeah, you finally remember that collectors can produce turret drones by being destroyed thanks to the drone surprise upgrade. And he's pretty much gonna rely on that now but he's gonna lose his third refinery to my two rocket angels my last two rocket angels pretty much the only offense I have except the Eureka and now this mass infantry is attacking the garrison trying to kill my trying to kill my Eureka but I destroyed a lot of his bears thanks to my Eureka second ability and um, I survived for the time being but then the flag troopers decided to go into the mine mode now I'm losing my garrison I had no choice. And Eureka goes down. So at the moment, the, this, this seems to be a very close game. Still, I think Wahabo has a chance because of those mighty pterodromes. Because uh, his course, his so. uh, his main you uh, uh, main threat to him was that Eureka Mega, and uh, he managed to kill uh, kill it. Well, I couldn't defend her anymore. I just had no chance, and she had to go. She served her cause very well. She did a lot of damage in this match. So now, what's going on, Turtle? Chances. Your your rocketeer somehow Wahabo killed it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what I did there. I just got confused and pressed the wrong hotkeys, and I just lost both of my rocket angels. This is a very big mistake, and now uh, you are spamming ore collectors, turtle. Yep, it's my last resort. I had nothing else to do except spam ore collectors and try to destroy Wahabo with it. Um, trying to hope that he doesn't get too many terror drones from his upgrade. It's my last resort. And Wahabo still has a lot of flag troopers up his sleeve and bears to protect himself from the remaining IWs which he, uh, which, uh, which he might face, he, which he might have to face. Well, now it's getting pretty intense here, so, so anything can happen. It's all about pretty much micro, even though that sounds pretty ridiculous because the entire fight consists of war collectors, um, useless bears, and a few flag troopers. So it's going into an epic ending and very tight match. As you can see, I'm trying to go for his flag troopers, but the flag troopers are going to the garrison, so I have to retrieve my own collectors. Now I'm trying to avoid shooting their, his collectors, but his collectors are moving towards mine, so he's pretty much trying to get a terror drone out of all this, and here, he got one. 
Now I'm in huge trouble. Somehow Wahabu uh, is uh, sending in a lot of uh, f f collectors near near your, but he has lost one flag trooper and uh, he's having problems with the micro turtle. Well, yeah, because I have three collectors and it's hard to micro one turret drone against these three collectors. As you can see in the Wahabu's main base, I have um, half a dozen collectors uh, attacking his walls and structures and everything, trying to make some damage there while he's trying to destroy my collectors near my main base. But one thing Wahabo has done for sure is that uh, he has uh, walled almost everything in his base. He has walled everything. And Soviet uh, buildings are very, very good at healing themselves. Well, yeah, walls are also very important, especially against the Empire, because they can do stuff like um, sudden transports. That's very dangerous. So, yeah, Soviet players like to wall up. And as you so, can see, Wahab was losing his units to my collectors. So I guess, Turtle, this game is uh, over because Wahabo doesn't have any flank troopers left, I guess. And uh, well, this yeah, game... Yeah, his only, his only thing is um, to try to get terror drones and affect my collectors, but he has nothing to destroy my structures with, so he pretty much has no more chances to win. And he's losing his structures and his main base to my collectors. And he has given up, right? Rightly so. This was a very entertaining game, uh, Turtle. No, normally people don't expect uh, so quick tire three, to be honest, from the barracks especially because. Uh, Mm, I think the, this ca this combination of Eureka and uh, and uh, Rocketeers can be pretty easily uh, like uh, easily be negated by uh, Twin Blades and MiG fighters because uh, MiG fighters if they are like lots in number they can easily kill those uh, Rocketeers and if you have like three or four Twin Blades. Uh, you can gonna lose one maybe if you have three or and if you have four you're gonna no, lose n no twin blade and you can easily kill Yuriko if she doesn't manage to get in one of those uh, civilian structures so I, I think Wahabo was uh, made a cardinal mistake by uh, by not uh, scouting that uh, tire 3 structure earlier and uh, he uh, he he really should have spammed more twin blades and MiG fighters. Well, he was quite surprised when he saw my tier three nanotech mainframe, and uh, I gotta say that he had to go rocket angels because it was the only anti-air defense I could use besides Eureka. If I went for uh, Imperial Warriors and Tank Busters instead, then the twin blades would just sweep me, and that'd be game over. So I had to go meet, um, rocket angels and force him to make anti-air and fight like that. I had to fight with the only thing I had, and that was my dojo. And uh, if you look at the resource tab, Wahabo is clearly ahead of you all throughout the game. This means Wahabo must have been floating some sort of money in crucial, crucial times during the match. But uh, still, I think Wahabo, uh, I uh, should have, uh, should have, I think, uh, uh, no, uh, this this isn't taking the credit to you that you played really well, brilliantly, in fact. But Wahabo, so, if he would have uh, positioned his uh, his airfield in the end better and uh, made uh, uh, made twin blades or even Tesla boats, uh, he he should might have uh, uh, negated with with that vicious attack. But uh, still, it was very well played from you, Turtle. Um, well. I think that Wahabo reacted pretty slow to my tier 3 and he didn't see my dojo at the top at the other oil. He didn't see that stacked up and everything and his choice of units wasn't that good. Maybe he should have just spammed turret drones instead of going hammer things. It's pretty much a thing about scouting, so the scouting was his problem here and that's why despite his superior resources, units and everything and, no and hard to stop if not scouted and countered.
So turtle, tell me, tell me, um, uh, uh, tell me right now that uh, when when we started this game, I asked you if uh, if on Cabana Republic uh, there is a problem with uh, uh, with uh, uh, with capturing those oil derricks for the Soviet player versus Empire, and I and I shared my experience with you that when I used to play Soviets. I used to destroy one of those oil derricks. So, uh, so uh, was I right about that? Because I have seen uh, the newer generation Soviet player, players. They mostly capture at least one oil derrick on Cabana Republic. The reason is that uh, many, uh, the because of the map control uh, they are getting in those civilian structures with mass conscripts. But I think Wahabo used every uh, conscript. Uh, and trying to destroy your uh, main base and he did that very easily with uh, a terror on stasis ray and a lot of conscripts well about the oil uh, most of your players just make a lot of beer so they can secure it but I just showed that you could take both both oils on that map easily and about his conscripts like I said at the beginning of the match that you should never expect um, standard playing from Wahabos yeah, as you can see, he sent his concert straight to my base, even though he didn't thoroughly scout my base. He just sent them to my base and tried to harass me early. And that's pretty much his play style. And if you didn't go tier 3, maybe just place a barracks dojo in your main base <laughs> and just uh, spam some IWs the, in Benzai mode. You can kill almost all the conscripts without, without any uh, pressure from Wahabo, but uh, as uh, he timed uh, his attack uh, pretty well, I suppose, because uh, go, you going tier 3 actually gave him an advantage, Turtle. Well, yeah, of course, but I don't think that the dojo would solve anything, because you saw he had a lot of bears, and I don't think I could have stopped that in time with uh, just the dojo. So I just had to take up that dojo at the oil and hope for the best. Maybe wall, wall that whole area up. You can wall that whole area up, Turtle. Well, I don't really use walls in that way a lot because usually I'm broke. I don't have a lot of money to place a lot of walls. I can only place like one part at a time, you know. And then I don't really rely on walls a lot. O okay, Turtle. And uh, tell me, tell me, Turtle, about uh, uh, your experiences uh, playing this match. Were you nervous? when you lost almost all your production structures except your barracks and mm. what did you feel like uh, how did you find the urge and the um, tenacity to come back and show resilience and character to go, in, uh, go on and win this game turtle well to be honest I was completely irritated when you came with his conscripts and terror because I just disliked Soviets and that kind of playing and he really got to me, but then when I sneaked my Rico into his base, I I was laughing. I found it very funny that I started destroying all, his entire base on my Eureka, especially the second time when I got his MCV and his airfield and everything else. I was, I was laughing like a maniac. <laughs> and uh, one of the funniest things that I saw, which I found funny, was that when, uh, when you had those uh, 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 three Rocketeers and you were... Uh, rather than going after his MCV, you were attacking his flank cannon all of a sudden. You took on his flank cannon and it really made me laugh to be honest. Those, uh, those well, three, uh, in the later, uh, later part of the match. Well, I had to destroy that flank cannon because then later on he gets MIGs and stuff and I, if I try to attack his MCV, he just unpack and try to move towards the flank cannon. The flag cannon has a nice range, so I think you'd still reach my rocket angels. And yeah, so I just tried to go for the flag cannon. I tried to destroy those defensive structures. Okay, Turtle, uh, before going, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm asking you one last question. Why, uh, why you have such so, uh, fascination with this uh, old player, Joza? Because uh, I haven't, uh, I don't hear from him from a lot of people, except maybe a bonus are you or something but uh, you are always uh, telling everybody about uh, the mastermind Joza can you shed some light on it please well yeah Yoja the mispronounced Yoja 
Um, he, he was a very creative player, and, and in the older patches, when Empire was um, weaker than the other factions, um, he really just ignored that, and he played brilliantly with Empire. And he's one of the first experts on game replays, and I don't know, this playstyle was just fascinating to me. I, I enjoyed every replay that I watched of him. And uh, who taught you to sell your MCV most often, Turtle? Well, to be honest, when I saw MCV selling in his replays, I was quite surprised because um, this MCV selling, I picked it up by myself. One time in the match, I was out of cash. I didn't have any collectors. And I just decided to sell on my MCV to rebuild them. But then I realized that I could also use that as an aggressive playstyle and try some kind of rush with a lot of units, so when I was younger I did a lot of that MCV selling to spam infantry and tsunami things, against, especially against Soviet players. Okay Turtle, thank, uh, thank you for uh, coming and, uh, uh, and doing this uh, dual cast with me Turtle. I hope uh, every, everyone enjoyed this and uh, yeah, before, before we go, if you would like to send some message to, uh, to your fans or maybe to people who are watching this video, or are new to Red Alert 3? Well, I just want people to subscribe to your channel because you really give give us some good videos and I just hope to do this again with you some other time and um, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you Turtle. I'm signing um, off.